What you're about to see right now is a mutiny. It is, it's the border adult female mongoose taken over from our dominant female. It's, it's pretty brutal. I hope you don't get nightmares because of it. I have no idea what's going on in there. All I know is that Jez has chased another mongoose in. The other mongoose is screaming and uh, Jez is growling like mad. Um, it's almost breeding season and there could be a change in the dominance that's going on here. And Jez is actually bigger than Patsy right now. Um, I think that might be Patsy. I think she's getting hurt. It's been already going on for about four minutes, started under a different rock, and now they've chased, well, Jez has chased her under this one. Jez is a bit of a beast right now. Every so often she keeps alarm calling. It could well be that it's a mongoose from a different group. And this is an Iggy. Um, but I've never seen one of these before. Not like this, anyway. Where well, they've got one cornered. Kind of makes me want a big stick to plunge in and separate them. I guess that's uh, my emotions coming out. This is actually really brutal to watch. I can't even see what's going on in there, but it sounds painful. The high pitch though is definitely a submissive call. That's an alarm call. And the growl is a dominance thing. The growl is definitely coming from Jez. Um, but I don't actually know who the other mongoose is that's making the other noise. I think it's Patsy. Um, kind of looked like Patsy when they were running, but it's been going on for so long now. It's almost, oh, it's almost like eight minutes. I'm not entirely sure anymore. I don't know whether she's cornered a mongoose from another group. Um, but until she comes out, I'm not going to know. It is pretty stressful for whoever's in there. Now, I just heard a fish eagle. There's a fish eagle. And if this doesn't shut them up, I don't know what will. that should have them all quiet and hiding but well, they're not quieting down. Fish eagles are actually a big predator of mongoose and they're completely not interested. I mean they are behind a rock but usually they're pretty quiet. Maybe they just can't hear the fish eagle over all that screaming. Just to give you an idea of exactly how much they're completely uninterested in anything else that's going on around them right now. You really can't stop this. They're in such a crevice as well. Like, even if I wanted to break them up, I couldn't break them up. Um, nature, hey? It's brutal. Just had a very angry Jez has emerged. She has got blood all over her mouth. Jez has just jumped out. Um, that, I think, that's blood. And now, you sicko, she's cheat marking. And all that means is she's marking her territory. That's crazy. Doing a bit of a scratch as well. So that went on for over 10 minutes. I've still got a mongoose that's alarm calling inside. I haven't even seen the state of that mongoose. All oh, both sides, dark, dark, horrible wetness. She keeps marking it on the rock. 
I think we may have a new dominant here in this little group. Oh, there you go. That's something you don't see every day. That's um, social interactions of a dwarf mongoose group. That is how they establish dominance, apparently. Only the dominant pair are able to breed. We actually lost our dominant male recently, um, Loki. We've only got Harrison, who isn't or wasn't our dominant, but he's the only male left in there. Jez was not our dominant. Patsy was our dominant. And it looks like we may have a complete shift um, for scallywags, which is crazy. That was brutal. Just literally got a submissive adult that's alarm calling now. Although Jez is gone, they won't stop alarm calling. Um, so I'm just going to give them a few minutes and move out of the way in case me being here is probably stressing them out more. Um, and I'm going to go and take my usual sentinel scans. Yeah, I really want to know who's under there. Come back, we'll find out. Okay, so I've kind of got back with the group now. And I've got Rascal here. I think I've just seen Harrison. And obviously I know Jez wasn't involved. I'm kind of trying to eliminate the possible victims for Jez's attack and it is still pointing towards Patsy, the dominant female. We've kind of moved quite a way away from that rock so I guess I'm just going to have to wait until she turns up and see if she's got any uh, fur missing. <laughs> so um, I've just found Jez who's pretty much sat in a little dark slot licking her wounds. It looks like she's got a bit of a poorly left leg and I'm kind of wondering whether or not that blood is Patsy's or hers or a combination of both. Hmm. Well I guess they don't call them a business of mongoose for nothing. Um, their entire functionality as a group is based upon them having this hierarchy and this dominance they have to establish who the dominant male and female are because they're the ones that are going to breed. They'll then cooperatively bring up the pups. Um, but it also, the dominants tend to spend more time doing the sentinel scans. They're the more trusted out of the group. Um, and they do have to rely on them to back their corner if they're ever in a situation where they run into a foreign group of mongoose, somebody outside of the territory. So the qualities of a good dominant mongoose is strength. And... Um, you can't debate that Jez definitely has size and strength at her advantage right now. Okay, so I'm just kind of going on the hunt now to see whether or not I can find where Patsy is. Every so often, um, it does actually happen where a member of a group is ousted by the other group, so chased out. I'm hoping that's not what's just happened here. Mongoose! That rock. I definitely can't hear anyone, which is kind of good. But where she went, I have absolutely no idea. So maybe she'll turn up at wait. Fingers crossed. It's lunchtime. I'm doing lunchtime waits. Yip yip yip. Oh yes, yip yip yip. And I'm just trying to see whether or not I can locate Patsy. Yip yip yip. Well, that is Rascal. Already got his weight. Got somebody that's lurking on the other side of this tree, but I can't see who it is. Yip, yip, yip. It might be a pup. Mongoose. Yip, yip, yip. Yip, yip, yip. I think it's pup. Yeah, it is. It's Hades. It's got a middle mid back marking. Yip, yip, yip. Yeah, it's Hades. Okay, so I've just done lunchtime waits. I have had Jez, I've had Rascal, I've even had one of the pups, Hades. That means it's really not looking good right now for Patsy. Um, fingers crossed she's just lurking on the edge and doesn't want to come too close to Jez at the minute. But I guess the giveaway is going to be evening when they go down to Burrow. That's when we're going to find out whether or not our dominant female has actually been pushed out of the group. I'm going to get my camera quick enough. Um, ah, 
Jez has just chased. So basically, Patsy's turned back up again. Oh no! Oh no, she's getting brutally attacked. Um, so she's just turned back up. She's covered in blood. She tried to run down the mound where these guys are staying. And now Jez is growling the hell out of it. And she's squealing again. I don't know, maybe the maybe the patching things up. Okay, I'm gonna back away in case she wants to get out. So as I thought, that actually definitely was Patsy this morning that was screaming her heart out. Um, it's gone quiet under there now. She's still being submissive. Can't hear Jez growling either. So maybe, maybe they're um, sorting out the dynamics, talking things over. I don't know. I'll try and get her when she comes back out. I'm sure she will. Okay, so this is the mound where Patsy and Jez went down, but there's also this hole and there's another entrance. So, I mean, they could come out of any. I'm gonna try and get nearer because I don't know what's going on. I really wanna know what's happening. Bloody blood, she's got blood around her mouth again. What have you been doing to Patsy, eh? Hey? Why is your mouth wet? Beep, beep, beep. My ears. Oh gosh. You're vicious. Jez, I had you down as the goody. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, we've got to go and try and do weight, see if we can get Patsy out and have a look at what sort of shape she's in. Beep, beep, beep. Got a rascal just over here. Beep, beep, beep. Patsy's not emerged out that hole again. So, as you can see, Jez is really big compared to Rascal. There she is. There's Patsy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, her eyes were nearly popping out her head then. Yep. Mongoose. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, let's try and destroy Jez. Patsy does not look good. That was Patsy. That is Jez attacking the mound aggressively. I can only assume that's because Patsy's in the mound. She's growling while she does it. The other mongoose don't really know what to do with themselves. Nobody dares go into the burrow. Some of them have kind of scooted off way over there. Chez is not leaving. One of the pups wants to go in and check on Mum. I don't know if they dare properly go in because they're probably going to be scared of this big mongoose attacking them. No, it doesn't. See, it's come back out. Well, um, we can definitely say that Patsy's doing a convincing job as a submissive. Um, I can hear the growls and the little high-pitched squeaks coming from the mound again. I don't actually 100% know what's going on under there, but I guess I would say that Patsy is trying to keep her place within the business, the mongoose business, um, and that might mean bowing down to Jez, who is the biggest, stronger mongoose, and he clearly wants the power here. Um, she's not screaming, so I'm hoping that they're not fighting it out, just communicating vocally, noisily. Where's well, heavy going? I can see why the little pups won't get on the weights if they're scared of those dominants. They're nasty, really nasty. So Jez has just attacked another mongoose. She's marking her territory. It looks like she's foraging, but she's not foraging. Okay, so to explain, there was a little burrow just below where she's sat. She's chased a mongoose down it, which every now and again you keep hearing squeaking, it's making submissive noises. And she's pretty much buried it and is now squeaking scratching at this mound like a crazy person. Let's see. Okay. So the mongoose in there is giving a little bit of an alarm call. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, she's gone. Coast is clear. Mm -hmm. Safe to come out. Mm -hmm. Here is it? It is. It's Patsy. Oh dear, you have had a rough innings. So I'm back. I'm back with Scallies for the first time since Jez took over as dominant female. What I didn't realise at the time, I keep looking down because she's right here trying to get in the egg box. She's sneaky like that. Um, what I didn't realise at the time was that actually it's really rare that the subordinate adult female takes over from a dominant female, um, especially in dwarf mongoose. Um, so yeah, that was really cool, that uh, overpowering and the fact that Patsy actually stayed in the group, um, that was a really big thing. But of course, it didn't stop there. Um, since I've been with the group, uh, we've actually got two newcomers, um, two immigrants from different groups. Um, have joined so that just proves that Jez actually is a stronger leader because before then we only had one me adult male and now we have two extra ones so we're winning the group is a healthy size now and um, new genes for the pool I'm, I'm holding my fingers out of the way because there's mongoose she is feisty and she's wondering why I've not got my scales out yet, so I better hurry up and get the scales out because otherwise I'm going to lose fingers to this mongoose. <laughs> 